Good evening. We begin tonight with new details on a deadly shooting that happened in Marcine last week. A man investigators say is connected to the incident is now charged with involuntary manslaughter. Our team combed through court records to piece this story together. Joe Paris joins us now with a look at how investigators believe this whole thing played out. Joe. Well, Mark, now that we have those court records, we can see that a lot of things happened in a small amount of time. But now that investigators have more information, what happened back on November 15th is a lot clearer. A member of an Owyhee County motorcycle gang is facing felony charges in connection to a bizarre attack that left a Marsing man dead. An account of the incident in court records explain, however, that the suspect, 50 year old Mark Warner, did not fire the shot that killed Rod St. Clair. The reasoning behind the attack remains unclear. Deputies were first called out to St. Clair's home on the evening of November 15th for a report of a man beating on the doors and windows of the home. From there, Rod St. Clair went outside with a gun to look for the man, but court records indicate he didn't find him. The Waihee County Sheriff's Office sent out deputies to search the area and fields around the house, but at the time they found no one. While deputies were speaking to the victim and his family, dogs at a house to the south began to bark, so investigators went to check it out. As they were searching, they heard several gunshots from the St. Clair home. Back at the victim's home, investigators found Rod St. Clair lying dead on the ground and his daughter-in-law standing with the gun in her hand. She told deputies that an unknown man, later identified as Mark Warner, had charged at her and St. Clair swinging a long, shiny object. The weapon was later determined to be a flail, a spiky metal ball on a rope that was popular during medieval times. The daughter-in-law says that both she and Rod St. Clair were armed with weapons and that she shot at the man who was running at them, but did not stop. Warner hit St. Clair with the flail, continuing to attack him as she fired a gun. The attacker grabbed onto St. Clair and turned him in the daughter-in-law's direction as to use Rod as a shield from being shot. She says that she fired her gun and believes that her bullet struck St. Clair. Now, it's unclear why Warner would target Rod St. Clair. The men did not know each other, according to the lead investigator, and they did not seem to have any connection. The investigator says that the sheriff's office is still working to uncover a motive and that more arrests could be coming in connection to this case. And Mark Warner, who was arraigned this afternoon, is being held on $1 million bond. Mark, he's due back in court December 9th for a preliminary hearing.